Hello everyone, I'm Murdoch Joe, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers Basics. Today we will be looking at automated remote control drones, uh, what they are, what they can do, and how to make them do it. So, first things first, what is an automated remote control drone? Uh, the name kind of says it all. It's a remote control drone that flies around and does stuff um, using mostly a remote control block, but also uh, often a timer block to get it done. The idea is that once you have it set up, it does everything on its own. You don't need to micro it or control it anything once it's set up. As for what it can be used for, it is more or less only your imagination that stops you. One of the more common ones is to set up as a primitive defense drone that will fly around your base or outpost and guard it. Uh, another option could be an automated cargo hauler, or perhaps you want to make you know, an automated public transport. Um, it's, like I said, pretty much just your imagination that stops you. I don't know if you guys have any drones you would like to make, or any ideas or concepts, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Right, and then we get to the tricky part. How do they work? How do we make them work? Uh, as you might have guessed, the key component is a remote control block. Another key component, in my opinion, is also tunnel blocks. And in order to make my life easier and as a bit of a fail safe, I tend to use several uh, remote control blocks and several timer blocks. Uh, essentially, you can have one remote control block do everything, but I prefer to uh, divide it up so that I have, you know, one remote control block to with these drones. Where do I go? With these drones, I have one that does the patrolling bit. Yeah. Then I have a timer block that after five minutes turns off that remote control block and switches to the docking control block, which will bring them back to the base. Uh, the reason for that is that the uh, docking one has uh, collision avoidance off while the patrol one has it on and the docking one also moves at a slower speed than the patrolling one meaning they're hopefully uh, less likely to crash, blow up or fail when attempting to dock. Oh yeah, <laughs> right, so the building part. Uh, you do not technically need landing gears for them. Uh, building this in creative to make my life easier for the sake of video. Uh, connector to move things from A to B is essential. And as we will be building a cargo drone to move stuff from this outpost and to this one, we'll need a connector. Next up, we need remote control block. I prefer to put these ones as close to the connector as possible. Um, it has to do with having to line up the GPS uh, for uh, the docking bits. So this one will be docking for one of the connectors and this will be docking for one of the other connectors. And since we're flying two ways, I'll also be using uh, two travel remote controls, yeah? One from going from A to B, and one from going from B to A. Uh, we'll go and name them right away. Remote control, docking base, docking pad. Travel to base, travel to pad. Then we'll need timer blocks. We'll need a cargo container to hold the components. As I will be moving ammo, <clears throat> I only need a uh, small clay junction. I need a power source. I can make a, two batteries just to have a grouping. We need some thrusters to make it fly. And then we need some directional thrusters. I do like to have uh, let one point it upwards, it helps the uh, 
kind of drone figure out what to do with its life. <clears throat> Essentially, they can bug out and not descend unless you have one pointed upwards, which is why we uh, do have one pointed upwards. This is our front. And this is our back. And the one thing I always forget, gyroscopes. There we go. Right, now that we have the drone ready, we'll need to set up the GPSs. Uh, like I said before, the reason we do have <coughs> the uh, remote control box right by the connector is to make the GPS setting easier. I think right about here should be the distance. Um, yeah, it should be all right. So that will be the docking area. Uh, docking base, we'll call it. Um, then we'll have one here. here we'll set up another one over here on this one slight blur thing but that's fine okay pads setting up a few gps just, just to have Make it a bit more complicated than it needs to be. And set up one right above here as well. And also do one right above this one, or almost right above it. Um, Right, so that's the GPS's setup. We got final base, docking base, one, two, three. We go to the pads, from pads, docking pads, and then four, five, six to go to the docking. And now we can get on to setting up the drone. We'll need a trusted group. Uh, specific name for drone, so cargo drone clusters, cargo drone batteries. I do like to have one for like a group made of the connector as well, uh, because we will be using the connector. And as to not uh, have the remote controller time box mess stuff up, it's often better to have them uh, Group, same with time block and so on. There's just something to it when you. There's just something to it when you um, have them in a group. The game seems to just treat them nicer. Right, so we got this thing set up with the groups. We have monitor antenna, place order, batteries, connector. Remote control drones, thrusters, and the timers. Now it's to putting everything where it needs to be in the group. It's a bit complicated, so maybe you should grab a pen and paper and take notes here, or just keep on watching my video every time you set it up yourself. Maybe you learn by heart. That way I get more views. It's uh, your choice, right. We'll start with the travel to the pads. It will be a one way. We'll have the flight speed be, say, 40. Flying forward, the waypoints are the lot one, two, three, and four. Then we'll tell it that once it gets to Merlot 4, it will 
stuff it's on autopilot. Um, top pads turn on the one for docking. Then we get to the docking on the pads. One way, much lower speed. Collision avoidance on. Docking pads. We have collision avoidance off on the uh, pads on the docking one, but we have position mode on to make it more precise. The speed is also lower to make it a bit safer. Then we have final for pads. We have a dock for pads. On the dock for pads, We'll have it lock the connector. We'll have it switch the batteries around to be recharged. We'll have it turn off the thrusters. <coughs> we'll have it start the turnaround timer. And will have it turn itself off. Or disable its own autopilot. Then we have the timer. We'll leave it at 10 seconds for this. That is as simply an example. Once it's done, it will turn the batteries back on again. It will Turn the thrusters on again. It will turn on the remote control going to base and it will unlock the connector. This is what happens when you don't. Uh, and you're not careful enough setting up your uh, connectors, GPSs, then you have issues. Do set up your connect, uh, connector GPSs precisely, not like I did with that one. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Remote control travel to base. One way, speed of 40, collision avoidance, GPS 5, 6, and 7. I'm just going to add the GPS here, actually. Shut the base. On GPS 7, which is the final one for the travel to base, we set it up to switch from the travel to base and to the dock base. Then we have docking base, patrol, one way, low speed, high drag. Base. Um, then we set up actions to happen when it's at the dock base GPS. Connector. Oh, connector lock. Thrusters. Up. Batteries. Recharge. Docking off. So this will be a one-way thing, yeah. This thing will not be traveling automatically around all the time. We will be having a button that starts it. I'm sorry, setting up a timer block as a trigger timer block uh, to get it get it going. 
in that one they want the, that one essentially turns on everything the drone needs to function and any cosmetic things in this case the antenna so remote control travel pads autopilot on we need the thrusters to be on batteries recharge off dun, dun, dun. and then connector unlock right that should be good enough to get this thing uh, moving we'll have it dock on the base by activating the uh, travel base remote control that should do it for us fingers crossed Right then, so we have our drone docked to our main base. Uh, we have ammo on this base in these cargoes, and we have no ammo over there. The goal for this drone, like I said before, is to bring ammo from here uh, to that base. The way we'll do that is that we'll have the we have a sorter here that will drain the ammo from the cargoes and into the drone. Here we can see the ammo being drained from the base into the drone. So once it's done, or we're happy, we click this one button, and this will deliver the ammo for us. And going by the waypoints we set up. And you can do this with more than just ammo. Uh, on the server I played on, I did this with ore, for instance. Uh, in order to not have voxel deformation around my base, I did all my mining like 10 kilometers away from my base. And I then had uh, a couple of drones like this, yeah, right from that mining outpost and back to the base, uh, drop off the ore, and then return back to the mining outpost. And every time I want to send one, I can just click the button and it will fly a drone back. Here we have another sorter pulling the ammo out of the drone and putting it into the cargo in here. And normally I'd give it a bit more time to make sure it's empty, make sure the battery is fully recharged depending on the flight distance. But uh, for this example, uh, it's more than good enough. Then you have the drone return back to the base. Successfully dock up, oh yeah, and it's then ready to go again. Right, that concludes this video. Um, just to round up again, it's important that when you set up the GPSs, yeah, that your docking GPS is precise regarding to the placement of the remote control block and the connector you're connecting to. Uh, you can get a lot of this done having just one remote control block. You could, for instance, have uh, a remote control block fly a lap and then come back and dock again. Uh, when I'm patrolling, I like to have one for patrol and one for docking. Just because I can then set the much lower docking speed for docking ones. But yeah, now you have the knowledge. Get out there, get online, build your drones, make life happen around your base. As always, I've been Merlock Joe. Thank you guys very much for watching. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, take care.